for the late Teresa Torkinowski is known as the person who relit the Spanish flair of New Orleans culture a half a century ago. She'll be honored this year with the premiere of the New Orleans Chateau Flamenco Festival. Her son David Torkinowski is representing his mother's legacy this morning. He's joining us along with the festival director and founder Maria Jose Salmaran. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Muchas first, gracias. And first of all, tell us all about this festival. Just how did the idea even come about? Because it's a great one. Thank you. Uh, Peña La Pepa of New Orleans came up with the idea to give a tribute to Teresa. Not only was she my teacher, her son, she inspired me to continue the legacy. Um, our mission is to integrate into New Orleans culture the continuum of flamenco. And how are we going to do this? Through the festival. There was a tablao, a flamenco tablao in the French Quarter in the 60s. Teresa was the boss. She brought all her colleagues from Spain to perform. Wow. It was intense. And actually, it ended up being called Chateau Flamenco, and it was next to Preservation Hall. So what happened is that the artist that would perform at Preservation Hall would go watch the show and vice versa. So it was a big family. That's right. So it was a beautiful connection, a cultural wow. connection. And I think that Chateau Flamenco is going to do that Saturday night. Yeah, we've been watching the performers from Spain in this morning. What a treat to have them on the show. Oh, they're Thank amazing. You. David, tell us just what this honor means for your late mother. Well, my mother dedicated her life to flamenco and honoring her mentor, um, Carmen Amaya. And she, when we moved here in 1963, she became good friends with New Orleans broadcast legend Terry Fletridge. Oh. And she, my mother mentioned she wanted to have a club. I think Terry Fletridge and, and Eric started in the same year. I don't know. <laughs> they did. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, um, and so Terry got the funding together and they created Chateau Flamenco and this incredible first annual Chateau Flamenco Festival is honoring that. All right, it's such a great honor. I know, I know you're so proud of your mother's legacy, your so teacher's proud. legacy. We're going to give some more information. The festival is taking place Saturday, November 5th at Loyola University's Roussel Hall at 730. You can find ticket information on our website, wwltv.com.